What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Actually doing a video today. I don't really do a lot of these. Don't even do reviews in general. But you know when you're just in that mood where you want to get a few things off your chest? I'm in one of those moods because this performance was fucking pathetic. And it's been the same for way too long. And I understand we've got our own injury problems. Fine. So do everybody else. And we can't use that as an excuse. I'm especially not using this as an excuse against some of the teams that we've been playing. Like fucking hell man. We faced a lead side that got slapped 7-0 by Manchester City, who are meant to be our title contenders. And we're struggling to get a result against them. We're only doing it in a penalty shootout. We're only doing it in penalties from Jorginho. It's the only thing that saved us in that game. Two penalties or we would have lost. But then they go and they get smacked up by Manchester City. Now we've got this Everton team who had more injuries than we had before going into the game. And they came with a better game plan than we did. Like... There's a lot to dissect in this game. First off, Thomas Tuchel is absolutely correct when he talks about the complacency in the squad because you see it time and time again. Every single time we play, we play at our best for about 20, 25 minutes and then we peter out. It's the same as the Leeds game. It's the same as the Manchester United game. It's the same today. Same as always. We always fall apart and I'm sick to death of seeing it. We need to have a talk about some of these players because, yeah, we talked about depth and everything, but maybe the depth isn't as legit as we, as we make it out to be. Some of those players have had plenty of game time in the squad and they haven't shown it. Ruben Loftus-Cheek, always love him, always want to see the best from him, but he holds on to the ball for way too fucking long. Way too long. Jorginho, I'll give him credit because this guy has been overplayed to death. But when, we talk, when I'm on streams with my mate Alex and he talks about Jorginho being poor in transitions, I saw it in this game. Every time they counter-attack, they just bypassed him. The midfield was getting cut open, Swiss cheese midfield, and then we go to the attack. And the attack is the exact same shit that we see every single time, no matter who we put in there. And that's the jarring thing, because I'll talk about, let's say take Werner out and then put someone else in it doesn't it doesn't make a difference it really doesn't regardless we don't take our chances either the build-up play stinks or the attacking play stinks or the finishing is one or the other regardless like we never seem to be cohesive when it comes to turning from defense to attack we never seem to do it there always seems to be something wrong either we can't build up play which we showed after the first 20 minutes either our finishing is just horrific which just happens in general we're always poor when it comes to our finishing or you know what maybe the problem is our creativity and we don't create enough chances it always seems to be one each game but then we get by but because of the Ben Chilwell injury we can't play through the wing backs anymore and now the midfield because of all the injuries that they've had we can't play through the midfield either it's just poor it's absolutely poor and we should be doing so much better and it's not about the injuries it's about the depth and our depth just isn't good enough it's not showing itself the way that we expected it to I think we've had a cold dose of reality over the last few days. I think it's, it's just been so bad. And I'll be real, the way Liverpool and Manchester City are playing, like, let's be real. If we keep playing like this over the next few games, you can kiss the title goodbye. That's the performance that I would say kisses the title goodbye in itself. The only reason why I'm not saying this is because we're still not even at the halfway point of the season. God knows what happens. I hope, I hope we have a lockdown because it's the last, it's the one thing that this Chelsea team needs because we're in an absolute mess right now. Too cool, like, with the subs, I think he tried to be flexible and tried to change things up where he could, but the subs just didn't work. Like, Saul up front, and I know, I know the Rona has absolutely ripped us the last 24 hours. And I'll give Tuchel the benefit of the doubt for it, but Sal's just horrific. Like, I thought Bakayoko was a bad football player. But this guy, man, he can't do anything. He gave possession nearly every single time he touched the ball. Every single time. And what can you say about that? Like, it's, it's so frustrating, but it's the same thing that we've seen for ages. So many people say, oh, all we need to do is bury our chances. Like, how many years have we said bury our chances? How many years have we said it? And then it... It's the same problem year in and year out. And people say, yeah, we should have brought... I mean, Lukaku was brought in to sort that issue. We brought in Lukaku too late. We started dilly-dallying with Erling Haaland for about three months because we thought that we wanted to pay him 350k a week for some reason. We decided we were going to pay 40 million to Alfie Haaland who wanted to negotiate that for two months. And Lukaku was just standing there. And I spent the whole summer saying it on my streams. 
is jarring, man. Because we're in the same position that we were in last season and the season before where our problem is up front. Defensively, it wasn't really that deep for us. All Everton did was sit back and try and hit us on the counter-attack. And we still left ourselves open because the midfield was just so poor and the build-up play was so damn lethargic. And the first 20, 30 minutes, we could have killed it off. But again, it's the same thing that we say time after time after time again. We should have killed them off in the first 20 minutes, but we don't. We don't have that killer instinct. And then we get complacent and then we throw the game away. It's absolutely pathetic. And the same thing happens time after time after time again. I'm not blaming Tuchel for this. Tuchel has done such an amazing job with this team over 2021. I don't blame him for anything. You can blame him for like certain substitutions and that but it's nitpicking like Tuchel's done an amazing job we're not going to say nothing about him. the problem is some of the players in this system they just aren't good enough really aren't good enough I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for some point because we have been really stretched over the last few weeks but that doesn't excuse the pitiful individual performances that I've seen because the patterns of play aren't the problem we made a lot of chances in that game. We made a lot of chances against Burnley. We made a lot of chances against Manchester United. I think we made about 20 in the last two home games. And look at the end result. One goal against, Bur against Burnley. One goal against Everton C team. For fuck's sake. That is horrific. It is so bad. But we got Wolves next, I guess. And... Oh boy, God help us in that game because Liverpool have struggled to get a win against them. Who knows what the hell we're going to do because our build-up play is looking pathetic right now. Tuchel's got his work on, cut on him to try and fix this team out. I'm still confident that he can do something. I'm not going to say the title's completely done yet, but if you keep playing like this, you can forget about it. Right now, I don't even want to think about the title. I want to think about just getting form back because I said the one thing about this Chelsea game that I wanted to see is I wanted to see us dominate. And even though we dominated for some of the game, after a while, it was just dominating on possession. We weren't doing anything with the ball. Just sideways, sideways, backwards, sideways, sideways, backwards again. We try go forward. We fail. They hit us on the transition. They fail at that because, thank God, it was Everton's C team. If that was Everton's A team, we would have got slapped. Then we try and go forward again. We flop. And then it just is a revolving circle until maybe one chance goes in. And then they get a chance and they put it in with their first shot. Uh, yeesh, it's, it's ridiculous, man. But... It's another frustrating game. Two points dropped yet again. We will be doing a live stream tomorrow. I can't be asked to stream today. I'm going to be real with you. I cannot be bothered for it. So I'm just going to drop this video. I'm going to have a few drinks and I'm going to bed. So big up everyone that's locked in. Smash the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Absolutely fuming with this result. But smash the like and subscribe button. And we are out, guys. Peace.